I am going to do another spectrum glass pattern and make it into an intarsia. And I thought this elephant is so cute hanging onto these balloons. And so that's what I'm gonna to try to do. So I made some copies and then I cut the pieces out. I, I redesigned this a little bit to make it look like there's one ear and then an ear behind it. So that's, I'm gonna cut that out a little bit differently than the black lines show. So I have that piece right here actually. And so I'm gonna use blue pine for the elephant, purple heart for a balloon, paduk for a balloon, yellow heart for a balloon, the spalted juniper for a balloon, and some monkey pod for a balloon. Yay, I'm so excited about making this little cute tarsha. Yay! So I used my Hegner scroll saw with a number five modified geometry blade and cut the pieces out. These stained glass patterns tend to have thick lines, so I tried to keep in the center of the line. I am cutting the yellow heart piece, and here's a close up of cutting the paduk piece. These woods are definitely denser than the blue pine I used for the elephant, but the number five blade worked perfectly for all of them. I checked the pieces with a square to make sure the pieces were square, and it was all good. And here are all of the pieces, and with some mineral spirits, I was able to remove the papers easily. The balloon wood thicknesses varied, so I marked them with a pencil and used the belt sander to adjust them. Next, I did some major shaping with the pneumatic drum sander. This is 100 grit and it shapes quickly, especially the softer blue pine of the elephant. Husband and Gibbs were passing through. This shaping is a very enjoyable part of intarsia for me. Oh, and then we can see Wally passing through too. And once I had that all shaped how I liked it, then I moved to the flex drum for some final shaping and sanding with 220 grit. And I decided to switch out the spalted juniper for a whiter balloon using Aspen. Then I smoothed all the edges in any place the flex drum couldn't get to with some handheld 220 sandpaper. I found this really great piece that I want to use as a backer, and it's English walnut from my brother's tree. Thanks, brother! So I put a verse on the back. I picked Psalm 55.6 from the Christian Standard Version of the Bible. And it says, I said, if only I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and find rest. And I thought that was the perfect verse for this piece because the elephant is flying away and just maybe he's looking for a nice restful place. Hopefully he can find a place since the world is so crazy right now and the total opposite of restful. Thankfully we have woodworking. I also put Psy on the back too. I just can't get over how much I love this piece of wood. For the elephant eye, I used my Colwood wood burner, which has a wire tip, and I burned in the eye. Wally and Gibbs both joined me. Husband was doing some welding in the other room and they weren't liking it, so they huddled up on me. I made sure they didn't get too close to the hot tip of the burner. And a trick I learned to take off any burny residue that you get sometimes when wood burning is to wipe the burned area with vinegar water. It works best when the burned design is all cooled off and also if you don't have a curious Wally trying to give you kisses. Next was to coat all the pieces with Old Masters Poly Gel. As you all know, I wipe it on all the pieces and then wipe it off until it is dry to the touch. And I just loved how those colors popped. Oh, so nice. You can do as many coats as you like, but it needs to set a few hours between coats. I am doing one coat on these and plan to put another spray poly finish on it once the pieces are all glued on the front. But for the backer, all I'm going to use is the poly spray finish. Here I am spraying it on the back side of the English walnut, and this has a satin sheen. There was bark and moss and really pretty grain on the back. I just love that. Here's a close up for you.
The next day, I put it all together onto the piece of English walnut and used tight bond, quick and thick glue to glue everything in place. Then I sprayed the front with that poly spray. And since the Old Masters is also polyurethane, there is no undesired reaction between the finishes. And Cyclone showed up, so I put her to work spraying. And this part of the video was is blurry. And sorry, it ah drives me nuts. Anyway, what I was trying to show you is I took some leather thread stuff I have, and I cut some pieces, and I placed them for the balloon strings while the finish was still a tad bit wet. It wasn't just freshly sprayed wet, but not totally dry yet. You know what I mean? Anyway, the string pieces stuck nicely in place, and when I had them all on there, then I sprayed another light coat of the poly all over them to lock them in place. And it seemed to work pretty well. And when that was all dry, I placed a hanger on the back using some wire and two screws. I did drill some small pilot holes, so it was nice and easy to place the screws. Well, the elephant is all finished, and I love it! He's hanging on the balloons! And this stuff is leather. I probably mentioned it already in the video, but this is like leather strips, something like that. It's got some waxy stuff on it. But I was concerned about gluing it on there. Uh, so it worked really well to put it on there while it was still a little bit tacky with the finish and then just hit it with another coat of finish and it stayed on there pretty good. So this is a stained glass pattern and I'll leave a link in the description box for anybody that wants to get the pattern. It was a free pattern and it'd be awesome for you to make it. And I love this piece of English walnut. Oh, it's just so pretty. Wow, see all those grains on there and stuff? And I like how the moss is still on there and just, oh, it's just so pretty. So I'm glad I could utilize that piece of wood for the elephant and the balloons. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye!